What's up guys, it's Carrie with oralhealthcoaching.com and today I want to talk about biofilm management. Let's get started. What's up guys, it's Carrie with oralhealthcoaching.com and carrieibbotson.com. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a dental hygienist by trade, an oral health coach by passion, and I make online videos that help you get better results with your mouth or a mouth that you take care of. I have a lot of big Facebook groups and YouTube channels and people are always reaching out to me with the problems that they're experiencing. And one of the first things that I'm almost always gonna say is biofilm management and pH control. I'm gonna link to some videos below because it's gonna take way more than just two minutes for you to really understand the significance of biofilm and how it plays out not only in our mouths but in our planet and in our body. It's a really important thing to understand. So if you're experiencing cavities, it's a great time to start figuring this stuff out because learning about this for the mouth will also help you learn about it for the body and for our environment. So biofilm in the mouth is this sticky little matrix that adheres to the tooth that allows other bacteria to come in there and start creating their own environment. Normally when bacteria are by themselves, they don't congregate, they don't, they're not together and then there's really no big issue with them. But when they get into one community and they start to breed together and start to make a community, that's where that acidity comes from and that's where cavities and gum disease can be really problematic. So it's really important to make sure that when you're using the right products and tools in your mouth, that you have healthy biofilm in mind. You wanna use pH neutral products. You wanna use tools that are gonna help get into the nooks and crannies because that's typically where you'll see more of the biofilm. On the regular surfaces that we brush or even for people that are flossing, Sometimes those can be areas where the biofilm is really easily managed, but it's getting into those nooks and crannies and get up on, getting up underneath the gums and doing those things with specialized tools that are really gonna help you see the effect that you can have when you're utilizing products and tools that are specific for helping biofilm. One of the easiest things to do in the mouth is incorporating xylitol to help stop that biofilm. And it's because xylitol is a five carbon sugar. It's a smaller sugar than our regular fermenting sugar, which is a six carbon sugar. And so the xylitol will eat that bacteria, but because it's a non-fermenting sugar, it doesn't deliver any nutrients. So eventually what happens is as that bacteria is eating the xylitol, it doesn't have that sticky matrix output. And so eventually it dies and there's no matrix for that other bacteria to come in. With xylitol, you wanna use it throughout the day. That's one of the things. It doesn't necessarily have a long working time in the mouth. So you have to continually use it because the bacteria that utilize the carbs for creating that biofilm are the first ones that are in the mouth and they're always proliferating. They're always the ones that are first to come to the party and hang out for the longest. So that's biofilm in a nutshell. Now again, make sure that you follow the links below because I'm really gonna put some information in here so that you get a deeper understanding of why this is a big issue, but also I want you to understand that if you have cavities or gum disease issues, chances are you have a biofilm issue. So please don't discredit that and go, oh, it's no big deal, that's probably not what it is. With the thousands of mouths that I've seen, it's a significant issue for so many people. There's lots of things that you can do to help control biofilm. Xylitol and using the right brushes can really get you those great results initially so that you get excited about it, you're seeing some gains, and then you want to do more because you're seeing the results that are showing up. So I hope that's helpful for you. I hope you look at the videos below and really start to see how biofilm management is a big issue. and. If you want a healthy mouth, you've got to have healthy biofilm. Thanks for being here. If you got any questions, let me know. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.